Hello Taurus, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 1st to the 7th of February 2021. So let's pull the cards and see what we get Taurus. I'm going to start with an overarching energy or message for the week. What do we have for Taurus please? Card has just fallen out so let's go with that. We have the Six of Cups. Message for Taurus, please. Angel Spirits Guides for the week. Thank you. Okay, that turned over very quickly. We have Stepping into Power. You are strong beyond measure. Angels, what is the message for Taurus, please? Message for Taurus for the week, thank you. 1st to the 7th of February, 2021, thank you. What do we have for Taurus? Thank you. Hmm, we have romance. Okay, Taurus, so those are the cards that we have for you. Let's pull some tarot cards. I'm going to pull three cards this week. The first card is the issue or challenge you face. <clears throat> Second card is advice from spirit. And the third card is the future outcome should you take the advice. And then we clarify the cards, as you know by now we always do, and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay. Message for Taurus, please. Angels, spirits, guides. What do we have for Taurus? Thank you. King of Pentacles, there's you, but it's in a challenge position. Six of Swords. The World. Okay, what do we have for Taurus, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Taurians, thank you. Does Taurus need to hear first to the 7th of February? 2021, please, can we clarify the cards on the table? Thank you. Okay, so I have the Hermit card, card of Virgo. Ten of Swords, Taurus is clarified with the Six of Swords. I mean, I do like that combination, I have to say. The World card is clarified with the Seven of Pentacles. And the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Pentacles. Okay. So it's interesting because let's clarify this Page of Pentacles. Let's clarify this Page of Pentacles, please, for Taurus. Let's clarify the Page of Pentacles with Taurus, thank you. Yeah, you know what, I did see this. I saw a court card coming, you know, definitely. Lovely energy, okay. So there is definitely an energy of romance in the air. Absolutely feeling it with this energy. The Six of Cups, it can be somebody from your past. We know it can be a reconnection energy, revisiting energy. And it can well be somebody who you know from your past. You could have worked with them, a past friend, a past colleague, acquaintance. Um, could be coming back into your life here. So there is also a message of you reconnecting to who you are, Taurus. This, there's a lot of healing in this energy. And that's why you're being told, again, shine in the lamp, stepping into your power. You are strong beyond measure. And it definitely feels for some of you, this is you reconnecting to you as well. Um, so yeah, tell you what resonates with you. When these two cards came out, I definitely felt this is very much to do with you, your energy first and foremost. But you know, it is a general reading and will mean different things to different people. In this energy, it definitely feels that you are reconnecting to who you are. And there's definitely this energy of you're ready for romance. You're ready for somebody new to come into your life. Yeah, definitely ready for somebody new. 
because we have you, King of Pentacles. You know, the energy of stability, security, success, very good in terms of money, career, finances, understands how to bring stability, security in every area of their lives, you know? Um, very good in terms of manifesting success, the know-how. You know, it's male or female energy with this, Taurus. And again, this energy with the Hermit, which is a card of healing, illumination, introspection, Again, raising your vibration from within so that you understand how, and shining the light so you understand and gain illumination how you need to take action now in your external environment. It feels in this energy you've been through a period of healing. That could have been weeks ago, could have been days ago, months, years. Timing is fluid, with, you know, divine energy and all that. So it definitely feels that you've been on a process, a journey of healing. And we have... The Six of Swords with the Ten of Swords. I did say I liked this combination. So the Swords can be about truth, clarity. Um, but you know, Swords can also cut deep. But there's also an energy here of what cut you deep is coming to an end. You know, because the Ten of Swords can be a card of loss. It can be a card of being stabbed in the back, betrayal, hurt, deeply wounded by somebody, you know, and feeling the full brunt of that hurt, you know, it's a 10. But a 10 is also a completion with the 10 of swords. The pain is over, you know, and it feels like you've been going through a, pit, a process, a journey, a transition, but it feels for some of you, you're turning a corner because there's a new world energy here with the six of swords an energy of moving towards finally finding your direction, moving on, moving from troubled times to calmer waters. This is also a card of healing, transition. It can represent um, life transitions as well, can represent moving, relocating, travel as well for some of you. Um, but it is, I mean, those swords that cut very, very deep before, you know, they're actually balancing out this boat. So again, a six here, a six here. There's an energy here, Taurus, of finding, finally finding equilibrium, harmony in your life, moving towards better times. Because it feels for some of you, you've been on a process, a journey of healing. And my goodness, it's been testing, you know? But it means that you, what it's allowed you to do on this journey is assess what is really of value to you and what's not of value and where you do need to focus your energy and time on what is going to bring you growth, abundance, value, stability, security. I mean, whatever it means to you, pentacles, you know, are, is our conscious reality. But they're also energies of value. What is of value to you now? This is Saturn in Taurus. This test was to show you and refocus you in terms of what is really of value in your life now. What is worth your time and energy and what isn't worth your time and energy anymore. Because for some of you, it definitely feels in this energy that you are ready to step through a new phase of your life. And it's a major arcana. It's a major shift. It is, my goodness, that journey, and it feels for some of you it's been a long journey. But this is, I am ready to just draw a line under it. Because the tests I've experienced, you know, where I thought it would never come to an end, you know, it's allowed you to refocus and understand of what's of value to you in your life and where you're placing your focus and now the fact that you're ready to step through to a new phase of your life and release release the past journey you know you've learned lessons life experiences that you'll carry with you but it's not something that's going to hold you hostage anymore so it feels like a major stepping through to a new phase of your life it feels like a major completion here a major completion and the beautiful thing, I have Queen of Pentacles. This is a new relationship. Could be of the Earth, there could be an Earth sign. Sometimes this is Capricorn for me as a reader, the Queen of Pentacles. Male or female energy again. Um, can be an Earth sign or what they represent. The person coming into your life in terms of love, romance, 
relationships is somebody who is and who doesn't play games, who says what they mean, is somebody that you can trust, somebody who will offer growth. The relationship can build and grow. A uh, very like-minded energy, very similar to your energy, your goals, your outlook. Perfect match. Queen of Pentacles is a perfect match for the King of Pentacles. You might meet them um, you might, I'm just saying this for some of you Taurus, but it might well be a potential workplace scenario or something to do with finances. Might resonate for some of you, but it's certainly the beginnings of a new path. Page of Pentacles is manifesting something new and you're manifesting something new with this Queen of Pentacles an opportunity to manifest a new relationship and it is your perfect match it is your perfect partnership you know and I definitely feel for some of you it feels this value what you've been looking for you'll recognize it in them you know you'll recognize it in them because of the experiences that you've been through in the past it has shaped and uh, molded your outlook to recognize the value of somebody when they come into your life. So it definitely feels for some of you, even though there has been tough experiences, he has tunneled your focus to be ready to meet somebody new. You know, I love this energy, love this energy. It feels the test is over, the healing is over. Something is finally coming to a completion and there's definitely new love in the air. Very exciting. And it's a, it's a, it's a light-minded soul, I have to say. Very beautiful indeed. So I hope you enjoy... Oh, <laughs> let me... You know, I'm shuffling and I'm saying I hope you enjoy the reading. How strange. Okay, so... Do you know what? Let's just take the one that's turned up. We have... I love this card, Transformation. This fairy tells you to surrender to a transformation in your life that's happening for your highest good. Embrace your transformation. The best is yet to come. And it is. This is absolutely beautiful. Love the energy there, Taurus. So I hope you, en hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.